Good morning from the Celebrity Equinox. We are on our balcony. Today is a sea day, sea which day. we love. We love sea days, so we're so excited. We got up early this morning and we did a little bit of a workout. We got to go out on the front of the ship and see a beautiful sunrise. That's one treat. The, the gym is right by the front of the ship. Hi, I'm Carmen. This is Brian. And if you're new to our channel and you enjoy travel videos and travel tip videos, be sure to click subscribe and the bell so you won't miss anything. We're hungry now. We did the workout and now we're ready for the buffet. Yes. Let's hit it. Because of our workout this morning, we're getting a late start for breakfast. So we're curious to see how crazy the buffet is this morning. Hopefully not too bad. Maybe since it's a sea day, some people do the main dining room for breakfast. So we are on the ninth deck and the buffet is on the 14th deck, but it's really only a couple of floors up because there is no 13th deck. Definitely a little busier than we've seen, but still doesn't look too bad. A few people here and there. Good morning. Brian just said he did a foul. He got a tiny plate. Looks good though. And here's my plate. I split it into two because I found out yesterday these poached eggs are kind of watery and make your plate watery. So looks good. This is all gluten free right here as well. Beautiful day for the Lido deck and lots of people taking advantage of it. We've seen a lot more children on this cruise than we did in September. And I'm surprised because it's February. You you think this, they would be in school right now, but I guess with year-round schools, you never know. We are looking for a little shade to sit by the pool on the Lido deck, or really by the ocean in our case. Pool's right over there. Is this good? All right, this is a nice view with a nice breeze. Feels great. The pool's really popping today. Sea day. So it's funny for me, I feel like we've been on the cruise, this is our third day. And for me, it just now feels sort of like vacation. It takes that long to like, for me totally at least, like yeah, totally unwind and get in relaxation mode. But plus on four days, as much as I love them, there's that pressure to get off the ship and get going and, and do stuff. Whereas sea day, totally chill. One thing that's really nice about this ship because I've heard people complain about other ships, is there's always open seats. Like these right here are open. Now you may not be able to find a spot in the sun or right next to the pool, but there's always somewhere to sit, even on a sea day, which is really, really nice. And we've seen them enforce the you can't sit in a place for more than 30 minutes, like hold a chair for more than 30 minutes. It's not enforced consistently, but they do go around and check on that. We are moving on. Looks like the band is sitting up at the pool now. That's pretty cool. Some people in the library. And there's the card room. There's Brian's Craft Social. Sadly, it's not open yet. I think they open at three today though, which is a little earlier than usual. We're gonna pop into the casino and check out the casino bar. All right, the casino bar is totally packed. So I think we're gonna check out the passport bar. We're gonna pop into the Equinox shop and check out the souvenirs. We got a magnet last time. Oh, there's some magnets. <laughs> I wanted to look at the shirts here. I really like this shirt here. Unfortunately, they don't have it in my size, but that is a cool shirt. And then this one is actually funny. I am not a wine drinker, but if I was, this would be a funny shirt to have. So cute. Look, they've got a little model of the ship you can buy. That's funny. I bet that's expensive too. Came down to the passport bar and Brian got a Rebel IPA and I got a Don Julio on the rocks and it is really chilled down here. Like this is actually really nice. Nice and peaceful. We came down to the martini bar because it is not open, which makes it a great place to play a tabletop game, which we were gonna do. Then we realized it's lunchtime. I don't know where this morning went, but it's almost time for the buffet to open. And on sea days, that's a tip. Get to the buffet as soon as they open because it gets crazy on a sea day. But look how low we are. This is funny. We are on the, is this the fourth or fifth deck? Fourth deck and wow. I mean, look at this, it's so, much, yeah, it's so amazing looking at this close. The waves look so much bigger. It gives you a much different perspective than up on the ninth deck where our balcony is. It's fun, they are setting up down here for archery. Going to the Ocean View Cafe for lunch. 
Look how beautiful these desserts on the buffet are. I mean, these are gorgeous. Here's my plate from the buffet. I got sweet potatoes, artichokes, and pork ribs, roasted turkey, and broccoli. Also, if you're not gluten-free, today is calamari day, and that looks really, it smells good. I can smell it from here. You got some fish? Calamari, two kinds of fish, mashed potatoes, and why not potato salad? Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. and potatoes. <laughs> so funny, as soon as we went to the buffet, the ship started listing side to side, like in a major way, like to the, the point that you actually really, everyone's walking in a zigzag. And it's interesting because, yeah, you can tell it's rough, but it doesn't look that different than it did this morning. To me, it, you know, from this height, it looks about the same, but wow, could you feel it. I mean, really feel it. We're gonna put our first magnet up. This is from yesterday, from our port there of Key West. It's official. Awesome. So wait, I can feel myself shifting side to side as we walk down the hall, but Brian doesn't look like he is at all. He must handle this much better than I do. <laughs> <laughs> now he's just being silly. And here's the slush bar, which isn't open that often, but on the sea days it is. Looks like they've got a variety of mixed blender drinks as well as beer. Here's the menu at the slush bar. I'm getting the Coco Berry Rita. Having a little bit of a drink while we watch the cornhole competition. Brian just noticed that you can see how much the ship is moving by the way these chairs in the Quasar Lounge are moving around. We're gonna have to try Spitfire multipliers. All right, goodbye twenty dollars. <laughs> Bye. Nice knowing you. <laughs> Next bet. Bonus complete. So we're up eleven dollars. Should we cash out? Cash out. <laughs> and we'll take our eleven. Okay, we're gonna cash out. Take our eleven dollars. We're not very good, or maybe we're great gamblers. I don't know. We're either really bad ones or really good ones. We're gonna pop into Craft Social for a drink. Here's my Moscow oh, Mule and Brian's Le Fin de Mon. So it's pretty funny. Brian noticed there was some kind of a bar crawl on our cruise on an online forum and we just found them. This is really funny. So many people. We're going to play Tiny Epic Galaxies. We're here in our room and we're going to enjoy this awesome view. We are headed to the Silhouette dining room for dinner tonight. We are in the main dining room, so here's what it looks like. You can tell it's mostly empty because we like to come very early. But up here it is not empty. There's a lot of people and we are in the top level, so there's definitely a lot of people going on here. We've noticed down where they have the designated seating times, they bring the drinks out ahead of time, which is pretty cool. But also, I think your drink could get a little watered down. Yum, Brian got the crab cake that looks so good. It smells good. Got some gluten-free bread. He got his regular gluten-filled bread. And I also got a pomegranate mojito. And we got the escargot. These are so, so good. So garlicky. Crab cake. Yeah, dig in. Well, the lights just went down, so the prices went up. But thankfully, this is all included in the cruise. We don't pay extra for this at all. <laughs> Hi. Fresh out of the oven. Good, good. Really, really good. Glad you got that. Nice. We both got two appetizers tonight. So let me try my escargot. Try the escargot. Mm. So garlicky, which I love. Yummy as always, right? Yep. Brian got the salmon tartare. Do you want to try that? So I had this before on the last cruise. Yeah, we did on our September cruise. Mm. 
siblings who crash. That is nice. <laughs> really good. I got the spinach salad with bacon and blue cheese. It looks so amazing. Here's my beef dish. And what did you get, Brian? This is the grilled cobia. Cobia, wow, yeah, that looks so like good. Mashed potato. Who knows what the sauce is in the middle? Hope it's vegetarian. <laughs> <laughs> it looks and really some, good. Uh, string beans, I guess, yeah. Yeah. Try my beef. Very good. Without any further ado, please put your hands together. Welcome to the stage, Captain Demetrius. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. Welcome on board. I'm here tonight because I would like to introduce myself as well. All my executives they are waiting there for me. That Broadway cabaret was amazing. I've really been impressed with the entertainment on the ship. If you enjoyed this video and you enjoy other travel videos, be sure to click on the video on your screen right now and click subscribe so you won't miss anything. Until our next adventure.